Diary entry number one, date March 3rd, 1855. I, a young, dashing English fellow, has found a new world full of monsters and harsh weathers, a mythical place inhabited by beasts. The world is something out of a dream. What I know so far is the creatures were born through microorganism evolution. They rose from the sea to terraform the land that they were birthed by. Each biome seen in Witherin lands were brought among the beasts. Life as normal in the isles began a warm night. An abomination sped out of the water onto the closet. Clo closest land multiple land multiple other creatures following it. A dark black mist surrounds the creatures as they terrify the reality to their liking. The creatures already inhabiting the lands fought the others until they could not fight any longer. Diary entry number two. Date March 5th, 1855. The red beast known as Singularity has evolved even more now, turning into a pale blue serpent able to summon a bright ring made of energy. I have never seen before in, my, in all of my years of researching and exploring. The creatures brought by the singularity have been dropping that black mist. I've been writing about it in my earlier entry. It doesn't seem to affect me, but it is. Creating new locations and planting and new locations of plants and organisms that I've never saw here. Diary entry number two, date March sixth, eighteen fifty five. I'm beginning to forget small things so very quickly, like the date or where I left the firewood for my fire. I'm beginning to think whatever this mist is not doing well for my mind. I might rest for a little while. Diary entry number three, date unknown. I have found some local beings. They seem intelligent. They have found a way to stop the mist from forming. I will create more entries when I have found something new. Diary entry number four, date unknown. God knows what I saw in the waters. It was large and fast. It pulled even the largest of creatures under that godforsaken sea. Diary entry number five, date unknown. I have forgotten even my name. Thank goodness I wrote it down. Daniel McNarthur. Anyways. The natives taught me to cook a thing called zoo stew. Tastes good, but the creatures raided their lands and killed so many of them. Diary entry number six. Date unknown. I have forgotten my modern ways. They are hunting me with those green eyes. If that traitor never did anything to the portal, then I would have been fine. Diaries entry number seven. Date unknown last entry they found me i'm screwed those horrid bird dog like creatures and the deadly sharp green eyes perhaps i could diary entry number eight date unknown i somehow survived i've lost an eye and an arm though that traitor also got trapped and said the portal disappeared we are currently hunting large birds and native called Liwanga. Diary entry number eight. Date unknown. I've wrote down information on few creatures. Possibly never going to finish as I see trees purged in a red floating crystals in the distance. Anyways, I've learned in Huali, hu how Huli's is a smaller lesser guardian for both small creatures and natives as it puts its life on the line just to protect them. Diary nine, day unknown. These natives are some of the fiercest people I've ever seen. Although I guess you have to be survive in, the, in this wasteland. Recently they went on a hunting expedition. I thought I, they were crazy. Those chickens were already dangerous enough, but they only lost two people. I'm glad I met them when I did. Those wolves might have already killed them if killed me if it haven't. 
Diary day 10. Unknown. Okay, I just got this off my back. Those wolf things scared the shit out of me. It seems like they intentionally enjoy suffering. This thing is like Satan. Even its saliva hurts. I felt my bones, muscle, and flesh was being burnt off. They were all white, with bright green eyes and mouth. It also had these huge quills. Why does it need quills? Anyways, to whoever is reading this, I wish you the best of luck to survive this goddamn hellhole. Diary 11, day unknown. Today, the natives made me go on a hunting expedition. Big mistake. We ran into a colony of the giant demonic bees. They were like two times tall and many times bigger. We had to run for our lives. We found a cave to take shelter, and I am praying to Jesus that there is nothing living in there. Day, diary 12, Day Unknown So I found something in the cave. Luckily, they were humans. Who knows how long I've seen them at last? Who knows how long I've seen them last? Anyways, they seem to have a small little community. Makeshift houses, a fire, and some food and water. I've decided that I'll stay here for a while to rest upon and hopefully figure out more of this wasteland. Diary 13, Day Unknown. So while I was out in the wilderness gathering berries for the cave tribe and myself, I was shot in the neck with some sort of tranquilizer. Next thing I know, I'm in some sort of grand arena. There are the natives lined up on the seats, up on seats, and some seem to have drinks and food. The grand hunt will begin, a native said, and the other natives cheered. Then a native pulled a rope which operated the gate. A strange creature exiled, ex excited the gate, exited the gate. They were like hippos with small heads and enormous spikes. I thought it was dead meat. No way in hell I would be able to beat them. I looked around for anything that could help me. There were spikes along the wall. So I took off my tattered shirt and waved it around like a matador. The creatures seemed to take the bait. It, they charged at me and I swiftly dodged them. They kept running into the spike wall, mauling them. Those creatures were still alive, but they were bleeding a lot. After around 10 minutes, they finally stopped moving. The natives were somehow somewhat shocked and I was taken into a cell with some food and water. <laughs> 